Goddess fam. Welcome to episode three of Mind Over Munch. Last week, we made my homemade no sugar added pasta sauce. And what goes better with pasta sauce than pasta? So this week, we're gonna make spaghetti. But not just any spaghetti, we're gonna make my low carb spaghetti. Say what? Is that an oxymoron? You heard right. In college, I ate a ton of pasta because I love it, like most college kids. But that was before I realized how many carbs are in pasta. You didn't even know what carbs were. It's true. So now, to satisfy my pasta craving, I turn to an ingredient that is healthier and it's a vegetable. A vegetable? Well, technically it's a fruit, but it cooks like a vegetable. And the great thing about that is not only is it low carb, it's also good carb, complex carbs that our body wants and needs. So what is this magical veggie fruit? Spaghetti squash. That doesn't look like spaghetti. Not yet. One serving of regular spaghetti has 220 calories and 43 grams of carbs. One serving of spaghetti squash has only 42 calories and 10 grams of carbs. That means you could eat four and a half bowls of spaghetti squash for the same amount of carbs as your regular one cup serving of spaghetti. And let's be real, who only eats one cup? So there are a few different ways you can prepare the spaghetti squash. I prefer to bake it first and then cut it open. I just find that it's a lot easier to cut once it's baked and not raw. So you're gonna wanna grab a fork and just poke a bunch of holes into the squash all over. And then you're gonna place it in an oven preheated to 375 degrees for about 45 minutes. All right, and while that cooks, you can go get a quick workout in or just take a seat. A squat is one of the most effective exercises, and using the wall adds resistance to the most difficult part of the squat, the very bottom. So go ahead, take a seat and feel that burn. All right, so the spaghetti squash is ready to come out of the oven. Just slightly browned, that's perfect. And it's gonna need to cool for about 30 minutes and then we can cut it. Now that the squash is cooked and cooled, it's gonna be so much easier to cut than when it's raw. So you just wanna grab a chef's knife, a really sharp one, and you're gonna cut it in half lengthwise. I like to start right in the middle and work your way down on each side. There we go. All right, so now we've gotta scoop out the guts just like we would any other squash or pumpkin. So we've got to take a spoon and just take all the seeds out. Where's the spaghetti? I'm getting there. All right, now that we're done with the guts, we can get to the fun part, the spaghetti. You're gonna take a fork to the flesh of the spaghetti squash and just peel away. You'll see it's super tender, comes apart really easily. All right, so I've got some of my homemade sauce from last week. I'm just gonna put that right on top and a little bit of Parmesan to top it all off. And there you have it, low carb spaghetti. This entire plate is only 75 calories and 14 grams of carbs, including the sauce and the cheese. Totally guilt free and you get your veggies in. You mean fruit. For this and all my other great recipes, including my spaghetti squash recipes, be sure to check out my website. But first, hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch. <laughs> be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for next week's episode. Low carb spaghetti. Oh, I'm sorry, I, you want me to do that? Low carb spaghetti. Say what? That our body wants and needs. That was weird. Including, but not just any. Meh. <laughs>
important component to any. Oh man. So now to turn to meh 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 meh. All right. So to prepare this bad boy to.